Hey guys, this is Ryan Cradiville with Hudson Inc. out of Lake City, Michigan. Today we are going to go over how to use the grain loss calculator that can be found in the John Deere Equipment mobile app. If you do not have the Equipment mobile app, you can go to the App Store for your iPhone or Apple device to download it or to the Google Play Store for your Android device. Just simply search John Deere Equipment Mobile and that app will come up for a free download. So once we have our app open here, the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and select our model of our equipment. Um, if you have a piece of equipment that you have the serial number to that you own in the upper right, you'll see that plus. We can use this plus to add that serial number equipment to our profile here so that we can select it at a later date. So you'll see we can enter the serial number here manually or to the right, you'll see that square box with a line through it. That'll access your camera and actually give you the ability to scan the barcode on the serial plate so that you can upload it quicker and read it quicker and then you can go ahead down here and add your equipment but for today we're just going to search a piece of equipment so you can just search general pieces of equipment as well so we'll search an x9 combine once we get to the main page there we'll go to tools at the top and this is where we'll find our calculator so the calculator is going to determine the grain loss percentage based on the crop and seed count, but it's also going to allow us to go into a performance and optimization recommendations area where it kind of walks us through an interactive setup of how we can optimize that machine. The first thing we'll do is see the instructions here. The instructions are going to give us what we need to do before we go into the grain loss calculator itself. So it's going to go through step by step what it wants you to do to get all the information you'll need to enter into the calculator. The calculator here if we go to the next tab at the top we'll choose our units so we'll, we'll keep that as us crop we're going to use dry corn for this example um, if you know your seeds per mass ounce you can go ahead and um, enter that here as a custom number um, otherwise there is this 85 seeds per ounce that we can use um, your residue disposal that's going to give you two options in this case for either a spread or a windrow so we'll keep it as spread header width <clears throat> on this x9 combine we'll say that we're using a 16 row corn head and if we have 30 inch rows that'll put us at 40 feet we'll say our yield is 200 and this seed count is going to be the number of seeds that you found in that dimensional area behind the combine so you'll see in the instructions it mentioned a one but one foot by one foot square or you can use a custom area that you choose yourself so we'll say we, we found 12 seeds in our area like i said you can enter in your custom there at the top if you have two by two or three by three um you'll have two options that are standard here one foot by one foot or the separator width times one foot so we're just going to choose the one by one and calculate it at the bottom you'll see there that we have a 3.43 percent loss which is equivalent to 6.86 bushel to the acre so you see underneath there if losses are unacceptable use performance section so before we get there, there's also a history section here at the top. This is going to allow us to keep a history of the grain loss calculations we have made, whether it's per year, per field, per crop, whatever it is. But you'll see there it'll separate it out by crop time and um, the number of seeds. So if you make adjustments, you can go back to your history to see how those adjustments helped you or didn't help you. Last thing is the performance over here. This is where we're going to go in. And kind of have the interactive tool to work through how to optimize the machine. So we'll go into the separator here. Our loss is acceptable. We'll say no. And then we'll say our loss is greater. So which one, cleaning shoe or separator? We'll say in the separator. Um, so you see there that'll kind of walk us through, you know, increase the separator speed to reduce unthreshed loss. It'll kind of walk us through and say, you know, this is the next step. Our loss is reduced after you've made that change. If we say no, It'll give us another change to do, and it'll keep walking you through these different steps to optimize the machine and to optimize so that your efficiency of that grain loss continues to grow and be better. So just a nice tool that we can use um, in the Equipment Mobile app. You'll see that this grain loss calculator is available under X-Series and S-Series combines. So if you go in there, it should be in the tool section of both of those series of combines to walk through these same steps. So thank you.